Hello, my name is Alex from the Advent Label Applicator Company. And this is going to be a demonstration of an Advent 200. Um, it's a plain paper labeler that uses hot melt glue to put a skip glue pattern onto a um, plain paper label. And we received some samples. These are metal containers, um, 44 grams, and we have our stack of labels. Now, unfortunately, we only received two containers and a small stack of labels. So um, the test is um, uh, can be a little bit limited because we only have two containers and we have to um, just use our best judgment as far as eyeing everything. So um, we, go, we went ahead and did that. We take our um, stack of labels. We already have the guides set up here for this particular width. Um, I usually like to take at least a quarter inch stack of labels, but you want to curl the, the leading edge up and then just put it in that stack. And then you just want to make sure that the guides, they're fully adjustable here. So you can see here, we can slide them left and right. We could go all the way up to a nine inch wide label. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Okay. And then um, we've already adjusted for our container. Um, you can see here we have product guides that allow us to move the container left and right. And we also have a carriage that supports the roll of the container and spins it around. Um, now, one of the most important adjustments on this machine is, I'm going to take the stack out so the heat doesn't affect them, but um, these rollers could be moved left and right. And what we're doing, or what's essential on this container, is that these guides, these ridges, are free and clear. You want the container to be supported by the inside of the, um, of, uh, of the rollers. And you can see here, when I put this stack of labels here, the rule of thumb is just match the width of the label with the rollers. As you can see here, we've matched it to the stainless steel collars. We have set screws so we can move them left and right. We also have set screws on the white tire so we can move them left and right. Um, we have the overhead pressure arm right here. You can see here, I'm just going to move it back in. And right now we have the overhead pressure arm set. We have a little bit of a gap here on the stop. So when we insert the container, we don't have to lift this up each and every time. It's just right there, puts pressure on the unfilled container and allows the label to go on. So we're going to go ahead and you can see there, we fed a label on there very, very nicely. And um, looks really good. The only issue is probably that the label is a little bit on the high side. We only have two containers, so I'm going to use the same container and I'm just going to show you the adjustment. So we're going to actually move the container up, as you can see here. It looks like it's about an eighth of an inch. You always want a little bit of play, especially with metal containers and lids. And then I'm going to use the same container and I'm going to insert it and see where that label goes. And you can see. It's probably exactly where it needs to be. Now the overlap is never going to be perfect, especially on a seam metal container because there's quite a bit of wobble. But you can see there, as long as we have clearance from that ridge, that label is going to go on really nicely. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the stack out here and just show you one of the great features of the Advent 200. We have a skip glue pattern. So that means that the machine will automatically, regardless of your label length, only put glue on the edges of the label, usually about two inches on the leading edge and about three quarters of an inch on the trailing edge. And you can see there, that goes on very, very securely, very, very tight. And that's the glue pattern right there. So about half an inch on this particular label. And then about inch and a half on the leading edge. And you can see, you can only rip that label off. So I'm gonna go ahead and Throw these labels out. Put this stack of labels back in. Again. Again, normally you could put at least a couple hundred labels in. Okay. Just get that in there. I'll use the same label. Again, turn on the machine. The machine's been on for about 90 minutes. That's when the glue becomes um, operating temperature. Now, if you have a little bit of a stall there, 
It might be my guides are a little bit too tight. So you just take in the container and reinsert it. And that label will go on perfectly. You can see really good overlap there. Looks fantastic. I'll grab my second container. Okay, now we have a label feed timer. I'm gonna increase it to six to give it a little bit more dwell. And then we'll get that label to go on. And you can see it goes on just perfectly. These labels, we have a very limited stack. So usually I could adjust it. There's a label feed finger that you could adjust that's actually slotted for different label thicknesses. Generally, when you're dealing with very, very small stacks like this, you might have to back off the pressure a little bit. I'm gonna reinsert it, and then I'm gonna try to do two containers in quick succession, just to give you an idea of how fast you could go on this, um, on, on this machine. My, from my experience, you're probably average about 25 to 30 containers per minute. So that's one. And that's two. And it's really an issue of how quickly the operator can insert the containers. In insert it, label goes on within a second, and then you take it out. So that's the Advent 200 doing a fantastic job on these metal containers. If there's any questions, we can be reached at 800-846-7716. Thank you.